Okay, so before we end, I want to end with two fun questions. I like to call all these questions are fun. Okay. Um, two fun questions about yourself. Um, why did you choose a career in medicine? You know, that that that's kind of funny. Um, so when I was a kid, I was very interested in marine biology, actually. Um, mm -hmm. And so that's why I went to college in Florida. Um, but I was down there and then I found out that every other kid wanted to do that, too. And there were mm -hmm. only, you know, a few jobs in the country. So I'm like, well, I got to think about something else here to do. And so I was sitting with a friend of mine one time and he was all of his family were doctors. Um, and so he's, you know, talking about his strategy for getting into medical school. And he says to me, you know, your grades are better than mine. You could go to medical school, too. OK. And, and and that started me thinking about it because, um, you know, my dad's not a doctor. Um, you know, my grandfather wasn't a doctor. So, you know, I, I hadn't thought about it and until that, which is, which is kind of funny, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, all your research studies you worked on, which one has been the most, I know it's hard to like rank them, the most rewarding. I'll put it that way. They're, they're all rewarding in a different way. Um, I'll give you a couple of examples. I've been working on this study for 30 plus years called Cardia. Um, and it's a study of people who actually were my age um, when it started. And we're learning a whole lot about the life course of people. Then the study is, is half white people and half black people and half men and half women. And, and we're learning all kinds of things about, let's talk about blood pressure again. You know, the, it's, the, it's the life course exposure of, you know, the blood pressure tends to go up in age. Well, it probably shouldn't, but it tends to do that mm -hmm. in our population. The longer you're exposed to higher blood pressures, it looks like the more um, health impacts that has on the kidneys, on the heart, on the brain. Mm -hmm. um, dementia. My mom died from dementia. I hate Alzheimer's disease. We got to do something about that. Keep your blood pressure low. <laughs> That probably helps your brain, which we found out in another study that I was on called Sprint. It was looking at, should we treat blood pressure to one of two levels, one which is pushing the blood pressure down lower? And we found out that that was better for the brain, keeping your blood pressure lower, having a lower goal to treat the blood pressure. So Sprint. Sprint was a great study, it, and it changed the guidelines for how we treat blood pressure. Very rewarding. One that I will tell people, too, also to keep your blood pressure down, though, even though I'm not a doctor, is don't get into arguments with anybody. Because once you argue, it's something about the blood rushing to the head for some reason. Yeah, I know. You know, I happened to have a doctor's appointment one day, and I had a terrible day. And I was really <laughs> mad at this guy who screwed something up. And I went in there and my blood pressure was higher than it had been before. And he said, you might need to take something for your blood pressure. And I'm like, yeah, well, dang it, you know, <laughs> but there probably something to that stress thing, at least, at least in my case. Okay. So I think very busy. What are some of your favorite hobbies? Oh, gosh, I wish I had more time for them. <laughs> <laughs> um, gosh, let's see now. I grew up fishing with my dad. And so my, my husband and I sometimes go like to Smith Lake um, and, and try to catch stuff. We do a lot more fishing than catching. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. I wish we were better at catching than we are, but you know, that's, that's sort of a, a way to kind of un, unwind. We, we've thought that we, when we retire, my husband's a doctor. Um, and so when we retire, we might have more time and we've been thinking about fly fishing. Oh, wow. Okay. I can see you doing fly fishing. Well, you know, that, that just sort of see, we saw that movie, you know, a river runs through it. Um, mm -hmm. And, and we talked to this guy who's a fly fishing guide and he's like, oh yeah, you know, we call it that the movie, you know, people um, sign up for fly fishing classes after they've seen that movie. 
Wow. I don't know why I visualize you catching a big bass or something like that, fishing and things like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We went out with a guide one time on Smith Lake and we caught some good sized stripers. Oh, wow. Did you take a picture? Um, you know, my husband has some. Um, he actually took his dad out when his, his dad turned 80 some years ago and, and he hired a guide and took him out fishing for stripers. Oh, wow. So, and I fun... got, and I got to cook them for dinner. Oh, man, that was very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> That's that 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 very. Yeah, very well, cool. you know, you you gotta you gotta pay attention then because you don't want to burn the fish you're gonna serve your in laws. Oh wow, yeah, yeah. Probably <laughs> not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Do you know what's happening in Birmingham? Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today on Android, iPhone, and iPad for free. Get info on everything you need to know about local news, events, businesses, restaurants, and more. Visit our website, whatshappeningbham.com, or follow us on social media at Happening Beham for more information. Download the What's Happening Birmingham app today, your source for everything Birmingham.